Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying making change. Let's say you buy this beach ball for $2.35 and you give $5, okay? So you're giving more money than what it costs. And then the clerk or the shopkeeper will give you some change. He will give you the difference of these two amounts. But in this problem, we are going to study a method for finding the change, which is called counting up. And that means that we start with this amount and we count up until we reach $5. Okay? This is how it goes. I basically think of the coins I would use, for example, $2.35. Let's say that I add 5 cents to that. Okay? Then I would have $2.40, right? After that, I would have $2.40. And then I would add 10 cents. And after that, I would have $2.50. And then I go up. I want to go to the next whole dollar, to $3. So I'll take two quarters. And at that point, I am at $3. And then from $3 to $5, I need $2, right? And so all those coins and bills I drew is your change. So the change will be $2.50.65. Now let's try that again with these yummy grapes. Aren't they yummy, Matthew? Oh yeah, he wants to go eat them. They cost $7.82. And you give $10. Again, we will count up. Starting with this amount, 82 cents, so I will first draw coins to go to 90 cents, okay? I would draw 8 cents. Here's 8 cents, and after adding this and this, I would have $7.90. And then I add 10 cents, and after that I would have exactly $8. And then again I need $2, okay? And that makes it $10. And the change is all that is here. $2, 15, 16, 17, 18. One more time. There's some pants and they cost $13.99. You give $20. Okay, we'll do the same thing. We count up from this amount towards 20. So there's 99 cents. First, I will just add one cent. And then I am at $14. After that, okay, it is pretty easy. $14 and $20, I just need $6 more, right? So $5 and $1. And that makes it. The change is there for six dollars and one cent. Over here I want to show you a method, a little trick for adding up to hundred. If you have a two-digit number, then what number goes here so that you will get hundred? And the trick goes like this. Think of this seven and seven plus how many makes ten? That's easy, it is three. And then take the tens digit, which is four. And four and how many makes nine? Five. In other words, here you take seven and how many makes ten, and then four and how many makes nine. Okay? And the reason it works is because seven plus three makes ten, you would have a carry here. Or oh, regrouping, there would be one here, and then one plus four plus five makes the ten. But as far as these two numbers, they together only make nine. So let's look at it here again. 4 and how many makes 10, and then 8 and how many makes 9. 4 and 6 makes 10, and 8 and 1 makes 9, right? One more time. Can you tell me? 9 and how many makes 10? And then 3 and how many makes 9? So we put 6 here. 61. 39 and 61. 
We can use this trick when we're using mental math and figuring out the change, okay? Because often in figuring out the change you have 100 cents, 200 cents, you know, $1, $2, $5 amounts, and they are exactly so many hundreds of cents. So let's say, for example, that you buy something for 63 cents and you give $1, your change would go here. So basically, you can think this 63 and 100. Think of the 3. 3 and how many makes 10? And 6 and how many makes 9? Okay? And we would get 3 and 7 and 6 and 3. So 37 cents is your change here. $9.72 plus how much makes $10. Okay, we already have $9, so all we need to think about is the 72 cents and how many more makes 100 cents, right? So again, 2 and how many makes 10, and then 7 and how many makes 9. 2 and 8, and 7 and 2. So 28 cents. Okay, and we can use this idea now when we are figuring out the change for these three situations. Some medicine here costs $15.68 and you give $20. And I can first think of this 68 cents. 68 cents plus how many cents would give me 100? Okay, I'm still thinking of counting up from this number till 20. But I will first count up from the 68 cents till the next whole dollar, till 100 cents. And then I just have the whole dollars to deal with. So, thinking of this 68, I would add 3 and 2, right? So that I would get 9 here and 10 here. 3 and 2. So, 32 cents. And after that, I am at $16. And from $16 to $20 is just $4. So the change is $4.32. A piano book costs $11.33 and Matthew pays with $15. Okay, how has it been going, Matthew, with your piano lessons? Oh, he's saying pretty good. Okay, do you like it? Pretty good. Okay, well, just keep practicing. Keep practicing, okay. $11.33. I'll do the same thing. I'll first figure out, counting up, from 33 cents to the next whole dollar. So this 33 plus what number makes 100? Okay, 3 and 6 makes 9, 3 and 7 makes 10. So 6 and 7, 67. And then I am at $12, right? And then I just need 3 more dollars. So... We get the change, $3.67. And then lastly, a batting glove costs $25.95. And you give $30. Now, this one is actually easier than the previous two problems. Can you tell me how much the change will be? We have $0.95. Cents, so we only need $0.05 cents to go up to the next whole dollar. So $0.05. Cents. And then we are at $26. So four more dollars after that. So the change is $4.05. Okay, all done with these problems.